Hey, this is Travis. Today we're going to go over BitTensor subnet number 34, BitMind. It's one of the first subnets that actually has a working product that you will likely use. And of course, before we start, none of this is financial advice. So 2025 has been a watershed year for generative AI. It's made huge advancements and it's showing no signs of slowing down. Now, this is both super cool and a little bit of a problem. It's a problem because it's starting to get really difficult to detect whether or not an image is real or AI. Now determining whether or not something is real or fake online is starting to become very serious and very important. 30% of online scams are now AI generated. There was a recent AI video of the Israel-Iran conflict that misled millions of people. So it becomes harder to make good choices when you don't know what's real online. Imagine if you see a video online of an impending military strike in the city that you live in. You might make some decisions that you would regret when you find out that video was AI generated. And we could even see governments take unjust retaliatory action for what they saw in an AI generated video. So the effects of generating realistic AI are just now starting to be felt. Enter BitMind. So BitMind is BitTensor subnet number 34 and it's starting to lead the AI detection space. It's one of the few subnets with actual working products. First, it has a browser extension that allows you to detect AI. It also has a mobile app that is available for download and you can tag their bot on Twitter to have it reply and tell you whether or not an image or video is fake or not. Now I really want to highlight how important it is to build this solution on BitTensor. It's not only the best solution, it's the only trustable solution. Ken, their CEO, was on the BitTensor novelty search demo and had this to say about building BitMind in a decentralized manner. This needs to be built in a decentralized, open fashion. Like, would you trust Russia if they built the ultimate deepfake detection solution? Would they trust the U.S. or a U.S. company if they built the best deepfake detection solution? The answer is no. You can't trust this problem to a centralized entity, especially not the companies that are creating the generative AI. Because there is so much opportunity, which has been proven out historically, of being manipulated or, or you know, incentivized to, to lean one way or the other for their best interest. And so I think this is, you know, David Lowey says this, but it's like his favorite problems are the ones that need to be decentralized. It's not just a value proposition, kind of like the Internet or Bitcoin. And I really feel like this problem is is one of them as well. So building this subnet out in the open is the only way that we know of right now to come up with a trustless solution. And by that, I mean a way to detect AI without needing to place your trust in a single entity. So let's look at how it works. BitMind takes visual content like images and videos and runs AI detection on them to determine whether or not an image is AI generated. Miners are the AI detection on the subnet. These miners are competing to have the most accurate AI detection. Miners submit their models to validators and validators test miners' models and then score those models using their test results and how well miners did against each other. So thanks to this competition, image detection on BitMind is 88% accurate and improving every day thanks to the competition between miners to be 100% accurate. This competition means that the subnet is constantly improving in line with new developments in AI. Now, AI video detection is still a work in progress for the subnet because open source video generation is much poorer quality than closed source video generation. However, using BitMind for AI video detection is still better than flipping a coin. But as video generating BitTensor subnets come out and improve, I think this will close the gap between closed and open source video generation and therefore AI video detection on BitMind. So now I'm going to do a quick demo of their mobile app here. All you have to do here is to share an image with the AI or not app, and it'll tell you whether or not the image is AI. Their browser extension works similarly. So links to this mobile application and BitMind's other products are in the description. Now let's dig into the incentive mechanism to understand how miners are being rewarded. Now at the time of this video, miners are rewarded based on the Matthews Correlation Coefficient, MCC. In layman terms, they want to make sure that they are properly incentivizing when the image was real and miners got it right. 
and when the image was AI and miners got it right, but they also want to punish miners when the image was real and miners got it wrong, and when the image was AI and miners got that wrong. And then they take the average of this score over the last 200 tests, and they take that average for every miner, and then they compare those against the other miners to determine who the best miner in the subnet is. Now they're calling the type of subnet a gas subnet. GAS stands for Generative Adversarial Subnet. The idea here is to have two distinct sets of miners within the same subnet. The discriminator miners are rewarded for detecting AI, and then there's generative miners. They are rewarded for generating convincing AI images and tricking the discriminators. This, of course, causes an adversarial relationship between miners to constantly increase the quality of AI detection by the competition between miners. So AI engineers from anywhere and everywhere in the world compete to create the best AI detection models. At the time of this recording, the top AI detecting miners on the subnet are making approximately 50 US dollars per day from emissions. Now, the subnet is burning a lot of emissions right now as they're in a transitionary phase with their incentive mechanism. As I record this, they're considering doing a winner takes all approach like Ridge's subnet 62. You can see the video for that in the description. This would essentially reward only the top miners on the subnet and the reward would be many thousands of dollars per day. But that's all in flux right now. Now, they've got a pretty extensive roadmap. They want to integrate with more social media platforms, X, Meta, TikTok, WhatsApp, etc. And they're looking for partnerships with media companies and fact checking organizations as well. For monetization, they're looking at partnerships with platforms to embed Bitmine technology at scale, like those social media platforms. Early revenues are going to be reinvested into the subnet, either by buybacks, burns, or covering operating expenses. So on the team, we have Ken Miyachi, Korea Samaru, Dylan Yus, and Con Trin. They all have very impressive careers from working at JP Morgan to creating successful companies. Please understand that this video is not financial advice. Valuations within BitTensor are tricky and not as straightforward as purchasing stocks.